every once in a while you meet a band that you might end up liking more than you thought, and that's happening right now. Oh, stop. Ladies, <laughs> and, ladies and gentlemen, dudes and bros around the world, Temple dudes Campus. Hello. Good Shout out, America. Boom. Thank you. Uh, Boom. Guys, I... <laughs> this is good. There you go. <laughs> I, I feel like we've known each other for a long time, even though it's only been 10 minutes. It's been a couple years. Yeah. Ten, yeah. It, feel, it feels years-ish. It's a long 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, first of all, how, how how would you describe the Palooza, the Lala? It's palooing, and it keeps on palooing. It's pretty yeah. lolling. Uh, it's it's lolling. They, they call Chicago the Windy City. Mm. And not for no reason, that's for sure. Pretty windy today. Mm. <laughs> Back uh, to thank you. Back to you, Sal. Back to you, back to you Sal. <laughs> well, up on Rebel TV, we got Crash Dice coming at you live. Crash, Crash, Crash Dice. Dice. Yeah. Do um, you guys haven't played Crash Dice, Rebel Crash Dice? No. Never. No. Surprisingly. They, they've never asked us. That's well, they've offered me actually a position is. in the race itself, but never a performing position. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys. This is kind of my, my solo thing. Not cool, man. All right. Well, Not I can. Cool. I, I know some people, and I believe that we can. Uh, we That'd can make be that cool. happen. Thank you. Um, you guys clearly have known each other for a very long time. <laughs> Uh, how did this happen, musically? Was this school influence? Is this are you guys? The, are you guys the product of great education? Uh, or mediocre education. education. I'd call it mediocre, mediocre. education. <laughs> we all met in high school. Education yeah. wise. Uh, performing arts. High For, school. Perform, oh, sorry. School. Performing arts high school. <laughs> right. Uh, in St. Paul, Minnesota, and uh, we all met in the music program. And what they do there is they kind of make you choose between jazz and orchestra, mm. classical yep, music. Yep. And we wanted to do our own I thing. I was good personally. He was the best. He was the best. That was fun. This You're is great. the best. He was the best. And it sort of it sort of put this limit on us where we wanted to do something else. And maybe that's why, you know, we were in a couple bands before this, but then, you know, eventually we all came together and did something neither jazz nor classical. Mm. It Thus. was jazzical. Jazz yeah. Jazzical. It Sorry. was some that would was call it. Low hanging fruit. Yeah. It was very easy. Back to you, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> when I listen to uh, your records. You sound your music sounds very grown, but don't like it's it sounds very thank grown you. up. It's wow. nice. Thank you. Thank you. Like, Thanks, man. Musically, it's crazy. Um, melodically, it's amazing, and I'm like, wow, these these kids are really they love this. Sh Almost said shit. I did say shit. They love, <laughs> oh. they love this shit. Um, but your 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 music is is really grown. Is that a product of of you, of of that choice of being like we're not going to do this thing or that thing, but just whatever you put in the pot. Um, I think, I think specific to our, sorry, sorry, no, no cameras, no flash. We, I think we were sp like specific to our high school experience. Like we were around a bunch of people that were better than us all the time, you know? And so I think that all of us sort of had that desire to just become better and better musicians and to really soak in as much of the industry as we could as high schoolers, you know, however much you can do of that without actually experiencing it. So... Basically, what I'm trying to say is we're the best mus musicians around town. Mm. You, you heard it first. Well, <laughs> no, no, you heard it first. Not. Not. Every, every, we'll every other out. Twin City band we'll is like, that. oh, really? No, no, no. Wait till you get home. No, no, no. Sorry. I love you, Jake Nivers. I love you, Miss Meckler. Sorry. Real real quick, um, Twin Cities question. Minnesota Twi Timberwolves. <coughs> yeah, yeah oh. let's hop in. Seth Curry. It's kind of Jake. Kyrie Irving. There are rumors. No. Do you want him? I mean... Why wouldn't of we? Of course we know? want him. It's like a, it's like a pretty girl so, at, in the high school. Peace out, it's Wiggins. It's like the prettiest girl in the high school. But that's the thing. Peace have, out, Wiggins. What do you have to? Is what do you have it? to give up? Wiggins for the most beautiful girl in your high school. Is it school? worth it? Do you think it's worth it? Worth it? I, no, it's not. I don't it. think it's worth it. All right. He's young. He's younger than Irving, right? Well, he's got Wiggins. They got a great lineup. There's no baggage with Wiggins. I think with this with this whole Rubio situation, I think you guys are good where you are. Rubio was a good call. That was a great. That was the best call. We did not need him. Century. He's anyway. a good guy, though. I'm going to say this. Uh, <laughs> to see what you guys have done over the course of just a few years out of high school to be playing all these small clubs and now being global and making such great grown music, I look forward to seeing you Thank guys you. again. Wow, dude, I know you're thank have you stories. so much.